What up, guys? Against the fight against Bahamut. Well, not quite. I still need to finish these rounds, so we'll get to it. We'll probably just auto attack them, to be honest. I got a pretty strong team. Oh, man. I, I really, really do want Lightning Super Soul Break. I've always, like, wanted it. I know I only did a 100 gem draw, but I just know if I don't... If I don't get it in a 11 draw, I would want to keep drawing and then I would just feel really disappointed at the end. So, I'm kind of like one of those people, it's pretty common how if, yeah, you just go for one thing and it ends up fucking you over. That's why it's a really good idea to wait for the Super Soul Break event. That's why it's better to get something than to just get nothing or a Shed Soul Break. It, even though a Shed Soul Break is actually pretty damn good, you end up feeling pre pretty disappointed if it's not what you want. Oh, what the hell? Why did I just cast Thunder? Oh, no, he cast Thunder on himself. Forgot they do that. Also, I put the record material on Saz, where if he attacks, he has a small chance of doing slow. Tyro also has the throwing thing, which I got from the event. I think it was a Halloween lantern or whatever it's called. Anyway, uh, let's talk about Bahamut. Anyway, um, he has 150,300 HP in the Elite version, which is what we are doing. Resistant to all breaks. Uh, his debuff on ability is slow, stop, not slow. So that's why I brought the record material when Saz attacks to be stopped. But it's only a very, very small chance. But the thing is, I don't think I actually need it that much. Actually, I think I brought... Maybe I brought stop on Aerith as well. I need to double check. I'm pretty sure I did, actually. We'll double check. Yep, yeah, Aerith's turn first. Yeah, I did. Okay, so Aerith can, can pretty much continuously stop in this battle, and hopefully it ends up going pretty well for us. Um, the main thing I'm worried about is Doom, of course, but um, when going back, to, well, thinking back to the past, I haven't really had a problem with Doom. Uh, I was pretty damn close in... when Odin first came out. I believe I was on, like, less than five seconds and I won. It was absolutely crazy. Anyway, he also has Dragon Claws, which deals physical damage to one target. Inferno, dealing heavy, very heavy, it says very, in quotation marks, non-elemental damage to all targets. Aerial Loop, which is physical damage to one target. Umbreal Vise, deal very heavy physical damage to one target. So it looks like it's all physical damage, so, um, oh, there's some non-elemental one. Oh, Ignis, deal heavy non-elemental damage, okay. I was gonna say you can just bring Luna to Kai and then it'll be fine, but. Oh, we'll see. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. Bahamut. Just need to wait for two more rounds. He's not uh, weak to any elementals and stuff like that. I did bring up the elemental weaknesses when discussing the lightning thing. The lightning super soul break. I was a little bit worried. Well, the one thing to worry about is if you draw the super soul break. You don't want to be encountering enemies which absorb lightning, or else you're kind of fucked. Okay. Let's put it to one. Let's do Lunatic Eye. We'll buff up our characters first, I guess. So, Planet Protector, Sentinels, and yeah, we're pretty much safe, I guess. So, I'll wait for this to be done. I do like Kick as an ability. It looks fucking sick. It looks like a Soul Break ability. So, yeah, we'll do that to get rid of these guys. Just attack. I think it should be fine. I honestly do think um, this battle won't be too hard. I'm forgetting this many soul breaks. Because the thing is, we're way down the road already, and where people are actually getting super soul breaks. I haven't got one yet, so I'm in the club with nothing. That's why I'm really tempted to get lightnings on, but what are, what are the chances of that? Fucking like 1%. Okay, doom. Do like this theme, it's fucking awesome. Okay, we'll do full break, tempo flurry. Tempo flurry is just to fill the gap. Uh, armor breakdown as well, and yeah, we'll do double cut as well. So, yeah, this fight should be pretty easy with Planet Protector and any attack buffs. You definitely need attack buffs in the future, just keep that in mind. Um, that's why you see a lot of um, ones like Cecil's one, which does a 75% bonus, Planet Protector is 100%, but still 75 is absolutely hell good, to be honest. 
Thing is, he's not like a mage character, so you kind of need to bring him in most fights. And it's really hard to fill in the gaps, where you pretty much, in ideal situations, you probably want, oops, probably three fighter characters, two, nah, maybe like two, what I have here, two fighting characters and two supports, just so you can have all the breakdowns you want. Yeah, it looks like I don't even need to heal with Sentinels. So yeah, Sentinels is a pretty good idea. I'm lagging quite a bit. I don't know why I'm lagging. Um, yeah, we'll use Armor Breakdown again. It looks like it's going to be a pretty easy fight. We'll finish him off with Blaze Rush. See, I love that ability. It looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? And Lightning should be able to finish him off. Umbreal Vise. That's alright. It's really just doing the attack buffs. Getting a lot of attack buff characters, you may need that in the future. I believe um, Taro has a burst super soul break coming up in the the, light, the very late future, of course. But it's better than Sentinel's Grimoire. There we go. Pretty easy. Finally, an easy fight. That's actually very surprising. Looks like I may not actually need lightning super soul break after all. We'll see it. Maybe we'll see in the bonus battles, and yeah, we'll make our decision then. But I do want to know what you guys pulled and stuff like that. You guys always tell me anyway. You show off, sign no. Anyway, guys, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the bonus battles.